Hello everybody, this is CJ again with uh, more stories on the road uh, about my adventures. Uh, this time I'm going to tell a story about when I first went on the road and I was, uh, I was in a position where I had to win because if I didn't, I wouldn't have enough money to eat and would have to like sleep in my car and all these horrible visions came in my mind, you know, that creates fear. And, you know, fear is one thing that we just all have to overcome. And the only way to overcome that is uh, with a display of courage, you know. And a lot of times courage is generated by just using your mind and thinking it through and, and coming up with solutions. So one thing about, you know, the position that I was in, having to win against these great gamblers all over the country is I had to develop an edge. I had to develop a way that I could beat them at their own game. But I couldn't do it playing their game. I was going to have to create something that was different, something that gave me an advantage. So I just took the game to the basics. You know, the one influence that you, me, and everybody in the world has over the game of pool is when the tip hits the cue ball, that's the only physical contact we have. So if you're going to create a larger margin of error so that you effectively make the pocket bigger and uh, give yourself uh, more uh, chances to make mistakes and still get away with them, because nobody hits the cue ball perfectly every time. So there's a slight uh, variation. I mean, it might be a hair, but it's enough to throw the cue ball off. So what I did was I took some of the information that I'd learned from other top road players and uh, I developed what I call the touch of inside system. I would intentionally cue the cue ball slightly to the inside and when I did that it would make the cue ball deflect slightly plus the perception of the shot when you cue it to the inside makes your mind know that it's going to cut the ball in that same direction. So if you favor the right side of the cue ball, it's going to cut the ball slightly more to the right. If you favor the left side of the cue ball, it's going to cut the ball slightly more to the left. So it allows you to favor the inside of the pocket. And if you accelerate at the moment of contact, which I highly advise you to do in the majority of your shots, uh, you'll get a consistent result. Because if you're off a little bit uh, let's say you're cueing the ball to the right. If you're off a little bit to the left, you'll still hit the center of the cue ball. If you're off a little bit more to the right, you're still going to get the same effect. It's going to slightly overcut the shot. So anytime somebody talks about creating more margin of error on a pool table, make sure that it coincides with how they're actually hitting the cue ball. And that will give you the results that you want and need to play better and have an advantage. If uh, you want to know more of my secrets, uh, join me at my private uh, membership site, which is www.masteringpocketbilliards.com. Because there's a lot of these little secrets that I learned on the road, you know, from these players that had to win. See, there's a difference when you're playing and you just, if you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. And you're just having fun. If that's what you want to do, that's great. But I'll tell you, the game's a lot more fun when you play better and uh, a lot of these little things that I can help you with will definitely allow you to play better and reach your full potential so uh, join me at www.masteringpocketbilliards.com it's uh, less than ten dollars a month but I just uploaded seven new videos and I have over seven hours of instructional uh, information at this time on that site and I'm going to keep adding more and more. I'm going to have guest appearances with other champion players that will also divulge their secrets and uh, I'll help them, you know, explain them in a way that uh, you can understand and apply them to your own game. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I certainly am touring around uh, the beautiful state of Arkansas. And until next time, CJ Wiley, over and out.